good morning so today we are going to talk about the process of letting go so I know what you're thinking um, you know you've already done this you have mastered this you know you learned how to breathe in through your nose out through your mouth you've learned the serenity prayer you learned how to let go and you are Zen now so when people piss you off it's really their fault because you are the Zen master and if they can even exceed your level of Zen they deserve whatever's coming to them which is you know that that wrath of God <laughs> I've been there. I get that. So, what do we do when we realize that letting go is a continuous process? Um, you think you've mastered one level and then there's just another step you gotta do. Like, this is a video game. You have different levels that you graduate, that you complete, then you get to the next one and it's gonna be harder. And just because you've already mastered one level, you can't sit there and be like, oh, I've mastered the game. That's not how it works. So we're gonna let go. So the hardest thing to do is to let go, especially when you, like for me, I this is something I struggle with so much. It is the hardest thing for me to do, just let go. Um, you know, subconsciously I've always known I was a god so I kind of felt like oh like well if if I want it it can be <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna push my will on stuff and I yeah I'm gonna you know just put my little fingers in it you know send my energy that way get involved somehow um, that's not how you let go <laughs> letting go is truly just focusing on yourself it is to the point where yes people that are used to being able to rely on you might think that you've now become selfish but it's not being selfish um, and not that selfish is a bad thing this is just part of letting people make their own choices once you've planted a seed you just gotta let it go and let it grow and hope it grows but it's up to that person to water that seed within themselves there's only so much you can do and that is the hardest thing to learn sometimes. Um, so if you are in the letting go process, like right now I'm doing it with my hair. This is my next physical manifestation of what I'm going through spiritually. And I am struggling so hard. Just, I cannot keep my fingers out of my hair. Every single time I start feeling a mat, I'm like, yay, I'm getting a mat. And then I end up rubbing it right out. <laughs> and patience. Patience is something that I personally have to work on. I am definitely not the most patient person around. But uh, I know that I am better at it than I was before. I'm taking the steps towards it. Um, and just truly trying to enjoy life and live in the moment. So right now I feel like, you know, since I've broken the last kind of tie that I've had here, um, it's time for me to completely just move on and go to a new space. So, uh, yeah, you might see me in a city near you. You never know. Um, but I, it's time for me to spread my wings and, you know, go be my authentic self fully. And I'm enjoying the mystery that comes with it because I do feel like I am getting a lot of clues and hints to as to what's going on. Um, but there's the best thing about it is that I don't know. No one knows. <laughs> no one knows anything. So everything is a surprise and that's part of the fun with it because I love surprises. <laughs> surprises tend to work out well for me. So yeah, if you are jumping on this journey, come on with me. Let's go do this. <laughs> and, uh, don't forget, yeah, all those little things that you learned along the way, like in the tutorial, um, they do still apply today. So don't forget to stop, like keep on breathing every day. Meditate, don't forget to meditate. It's so easy to forget to meditate when you get to like this certain level intellectually and you're like watching YouTube videos and reading books and decoding things and 
you know, you forget about the spiritual aspect and you have to maintain that connection with your source. So, uh, yeah, pray, meditate, take that time for yourself. Um, you know, self love, self care, take a bath, like a bubble bath with like luxury bath salts and everything. And you come out smelling like a garden of Eden. That's what you should do. <laughs> You know, cook your favorite foods or go get them if you're not a good cook. Um, cook, get your favorite healthy foods, you know, treat your body right. You know, half your turn up time, like there's always a holiday to turn up at. <laughs> but, uh, you know, learn the balance and everything is about balance right now. So, thank you for watching. I'm going to go get some stuff done today. Maybe start looking at some new cities. <laughs>